is really interesting for me. I'm now driving the SLS GT. A couple of hours after I've been out driving my C could be a DTM car. So I'm getting a direct comparison between the performance of a car which is ultimately designed for performance driving on the road with a racing car. You know this car is an rated version of the SLS and that doesn't mean it's a better car of course not. It's got all of the, the characteristics that has uh, made the SLS loved around the world for its sporting performance. But it's just more dynamic. It's got a little bit more horsepower slightly upgraded suspension which is more track specific and that allows you to be able to, to sustain the sort of high g-forces that you'll see on a racetrack. The SLS AMG GT also features an optimised transmission with faster reaction times and manual mode which makes the car even more agile and fun to drive. What is impressive about this car, and it's got balance, it's got performance, it's got acceleration. Look at that fantastic engine, listen to that. Absolutely brilliant. So here I am with an old friend, the SLS, but this isn't any standard SLS, this is the GT AMG. Now you might say, well, what's different? Well, right from the back here, you'll notice that the inlay to the lights is black, and this is something that's carried through the theme of the whole car, the front light cluster as well. Different wheels, carbon ceramic brakes, of course. Moving into the cabin, you can see that this red stitching is applied throughout the whole cockpit, and also, there's again this black accent and on the air conditioning vents and on the centre of the steering. Just having driven the car out on the Nürburgring, it's just a more dynamic drive than you would have from your standard SLS. That doesn't mean it lacks any of the around town performance that you would hope to have from Mercedes-Benz, but when you just ask that little bit more of the car under braking and on turning, the upgraded suspension can deliver that. Now, moving forward, you can see again this black accent that's being carried, which will uh, absolutely make it stand out from the standard SLS. And what else do you get? An extra 20 horsepower. A whopping 591 horsepower lies under this bonnet. So all in all, not a better car, just a little bit more responsive and uh, truly unique SLS.